Okay, to find the area of a real regular polygon, we first have to recognize that this only works with regular polygons, which means that every side is congruent. All sides are the same length. All right, so let's say that I've got um, a hexagon here, okay? And each side is of length 10. And that's all I know. Is it possible for me to find the area? Believe it or not, it actually is. If I go from the center point and draw a radius to a corner and a radius to that corner, I've created a triangle. I've actually created an equilateral triangle. Because if I did that to every corner, I would break this down into one, two, three, four, five, six triangles all the way around is 360 degrees. So if I divide 360 by 6, that means each one of these angles is 60. OK, so if each one of these angles is 60, then what happens if I draw this segment right here that's perpendicular to a side? I have now created a 30, 60, 90 right triangle our old friend, right? And since this bisects this side, that's going to be 5. That's the short leg of the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this piece is 5 root 3, and this is 10, and that's 10. So these are all equilateral triangles. OK, so what's the area of this one triangle right here? Well, the area of one triangle is one half the base of that triangle, the base is 10, times the height of that triangle, which is 5 root 3. And I end up with 25 root 3. That's the area of one triangle. So what's the area of the entire polygon? The area of the entire polygon not very good art right there, is going to be 6 times the area of one triangle, because there are six triangles. And we get 150. Whoop, 150 times the square root of 3. Well, we can shortcut this uh, process if we identify some terms. OK, so let me drop this down here. All right, so that, um, that segment that I drew from the center of the triangle to the side, or rather from the vertex of the triangle to the side of the polygon, that's called an apothem, A-P-O-T-H-E-M. And if you think about it, since that's also the height of this triangle, the total area is going to be 1 half times all the bases, which is called the perimeter of the polygon, times the apothem. Now, I think your book writes it like this, 1 half a p. But that just stands for 1 half the apothem of the polygon times the perimeter. And that is the formula for the area of a regular polygon. OK, that worked out great for a hexagon because it turned into 30, 60, 90 triangles. How about a pentagon? So here we go. Now what is that? going to be? Well, I've got five triangles that this pentagon can be divided into. So that means that, I mean, that means that 360 divided by 5 will be my vertex angle, 72 degrees. OK, so this angle right here is 72 degrees. 
which means that my apothem right there we can't figure out using a special triangle. However, we have trigonometry at our disposal, right? So if I pull out that right triangle, oh, let's say these sides are 10 too. Again, they have to give us that, don't they? That means this is 5. This angle up here is 36. And I'm looking for the apothem. So if I'm standing at this angle up here, there's my opposite side, there's my adjacent side. The tangent of 36 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So my apothem is 5 divided by the tangent of 36. OK, so what is that going to be? Well, 5, oh, turn it on. 5 divided by tangent of 36, and I'm in degree mode, I get 6.9. Okay, I've got everything I need to do the area. The area is 1 half the apothem times the perimeter, which is 50, 5 times 10, pentagon, 10 units per side. And we work that out. Um, let's see what that's going to be. That'll be 0.5 times 6.88 times 50, 172 square units. And that's how you find the area of a regular polygon.